Today we're going to learn how to make the French knot. French knots can be used effectively to create flowers, the center of flowers, and anywhere you want a little dot on your fabric. To make my French knots I'm using a milliner needle, which is slightly different from your regular embroidery needle. You can see that the regular embroidery needle has a longer eye, and the eye is slightly bigger than the shaft. On a milliner needle, the key is that the shaft here is the same width as the eye, which makes it easier to pass through the knot. So you're going to start by bringing your working thread up to the front of the fabric here, holding on to it with your non-stitching hand, place your needle against the working thread, and then wrap your thread around the needle twice. Take the tip back down next to where you came out, but not in the same hole, just right next to it. And then holding on to the working thread, supplying a little bit of tension, you want to pull your needle through the knot. Don't let, don't let go of the thread yet, hold on to it. And then as you get close to the end, you can let go of the thread. So let's do that again. We're going to bring the thread to the front of the fabric, hold on to it with your non-stitching hand and place the needle against it, wrap around twice, move the tip of the needle down and around next to where you just came out. Leave a little space in the fabric, hold on to the working thread. You don't have to yank it, just hold it. And then pull your thread through. And as you come close to the end, let go. Now you don't have to keep a lot of tension on that working thread. You just want enough that you hold the shape of the knot so that it doesn't fall out of shape and so that the, the thread passes through easily. If you have too much tension, you're going to choke the needle and it won't be able to pass through. So again, here we go. We're holding on to the working thread. We're going to pull the needle through. Then as we get close to the end, just let go. So again, come up in your fabric, hold on to the thread, wrap it around the needle twice, bring the tip down next to where you came out but not in the same hole, hold on to the working thread, and pull through. And again, Wrap the needle twice around the working thread, take the tip down, not in the same hole, but right next to it, hold on to the working thread, and pull your needle through. French knots take a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of working them, they're actually really easy. And you'll find that they work out for all kinds of things. I've even used them for lettering. So they're a neat little stitch. And you can cluster them together, make pictures out of them. You can use them for stippling all over your embroidery. All right, let's do it one more time. Bring your thread to the front. Wrap it around your needle twice. The tip goes down next to where you came out. Hold on to the working thread, just a little bit, and then pull through, and that is the French Knot. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.